cleaning your Citrocasa 8000 SB ATS Advanced Juicer. Note that the juicer shown in this demonstration is the SB ATS Advanced with the automatic transport system for pulp removal. If you juice on an SB Advanced, which has the manual transport system, please continue to watch and we will point out the differences relevant to your juicer. Citricasa juicers are efficient, hygienic, and produce the highest quality juice. To maintain this high level of taste, hygiene, and efficiency, it's necessary to disassemble and thoroughly clean your juicer and surrounding juicer area at least once a day. Do not hose or spray down the juicer. Water can enter the motor area and cause severe damage. Make sure to have a couple of soft towels ready for cleaning and drying. You will also need mild dishwashing liquid. Do not use abrasive pads, brushes, or abrasive and harsh chemicals for cleaning as they will damage the materials and lead to costly parts replacements. When you start cleaning, the fruit basket and the fruit supply tunnel must be empty. Be sure to shut down and unplug the juicer before you start cleaning. All removable parts on the juicer are dishwasher safe, except for the acrylic front cover and the side chutes. These parts must be cleaned in the sink with warm water and a soft towel and mild dish soap. When you disassemble the juicer, it's best to start from the top and work your way down. First, remove the fruit basket and turn it to the right, lifting it up and away. Lift the rotation plate up and out of the hopper. Remove the splash protector by pushing it up and out. Now, remove the side chutes. To do so, Press the fastening clips and slide the chutes upward and out of the slide mount. Place them in the sink. Unscrew the front cover screws. They can be cleaned in the dishwasher or in the sink, but be careful not to lose them. Remove the front cover by moving the bottom slightly towards you and then lifting the cover up and away from the retaining bolts at the top. Place it in the sink. Loosen the cross holder screw by turning it counterclockwise and pull out the cross holder and screw as one unit. As one unit. Now pull out the cross holder screw and separate it from the cross holder and the knife guide. Remove the two peel ejectors. Pull out the upper and lower pressing elements on each side. Carefully lift up and pull out the knife. Never hold the blade from the sharp edge at the top. Only hold it from the front or the bottom. The blade is very sharp and can cause serious injury. Serious injury. Open the locking lever and remove the fruit supply tunnel. Remove the fruit supply tunnel. Pull out the double cover. Slightly lift the front of the ATS system and pull it out. The SB model is equipped with a manual transport system. Simply slide out the MTS for cleaning. Then take off the MTS swiper by squeezing the fastening clip. If a lot of residue has collected on the MTS springs, the system can be further disassembled. You can unscrew the end caps on the sliding bar to take off the springs for cleaning. On both models, take off the tap by unscrewing the steel ring. You can now pull off the entire tap. Take the tap apart by unscrewing the large ribbed metal ring and pulling the lower and upper pieces apart. The tap can be cleaned in the dishwasher, but should first be rinsed to remove residue and pulp. Unscrew the retention nut and pull off the fruit sieve support. Remove the fine sieve inside and the fruit sieve support. Now we are moving down to the cabinet. Remove the peel chutes. Remove the grate and the peel funnel. Take off the adjustable drip tray by pulling out the adjustment knob and sliding it up until the four wide holes are positioned behind the screws. Pull it forward 
and remove the grate. Remove the peel bucket and empty it. Once you have placed all the removable parts in the dishwasher, clean the front cover and the side chutes thoroughly by hand. Dry all the parts with a soft towel or let them air dry. Next, wipe down the inside of the hopper with a soft, damp towel. Note that the hopper cannot be removed. Wipe down the housing of the juicer with warm water and a soft towel. Do not hose or spray down the juicer. We recommend wiping down the stainless steel posts and the O-ring seals with warm water and a soft towel. Do not use any abrasives on the seals. Abrasive pads or chemicals will damage the seals. While you are cleaning, inspect the seals to ensure that they are properly seated and intact. Should you choose to spray with a sanitizer, you must wipe away any sanitizer residue off of the seals with fresh water to prevent damage. Wipe down the cabinet inside and out. Once you have wiped down the juicer and all the parts are clean and dry, you can start reassembling the juicer. Now that all the parts are clean, you can reassemble the juicer and get it ready for juicing again. Line the peel bucket with a plastic bag and place it inside the cabinet. Put the peel funnel, the grate, and the peel chutes back on the cabinet. Note that you put the funnel in from either the top or the bottom. Align the four holes of the drip tray over the screws. Pull the adjustment knob and set the drip tray to the desired position. Replace the grate. Put the fine sieve with the handle up inside the fruit sieve support. Push it back onto the post and screw on the sieve support nut. Reassemble the tap making sure that the little stud on the upper tap part rests inside the hole in the lower part before you screw the ring tight by hand. Push the tap onto the sieve support, making sure that the small stud at the top rests inside the hole on the sieve support and screw the metal ring tight by hand. Slide the ATS system back on. Be sure to mate the system properly. If you are juicing on an 8000 SB, slide the MTS system back in place. Then clip on the MTS swiper. On both models, continue by sliding the double cover back onto the posts. Install the fruit supply tunnel and fasten it with the locking lever. Carefully install the knife, making sure to hold it either from the front or the bottom. The sharp edge of the blade must face up and the blade must be able to move up and down freely once it's in place. It's in Slide on the upper and lower pressing elements on each side. On each, the inside of the pressing elements must be flush with the stainless posts. Put the peel removers back on. Reassemble the cross holder. Firmly squeeze the knife guide and screw until you hear a click. Slide it onto the juicer so that the four cross holder knobs are properly positioned on the pressing elements. Apply pressure and turn the screw clockwise to tighten it. Make sure that the knife can move up and down freely. Put the front cover back on the juicer, making sure that it sits on the posts at the top before you push it in. Tighten the front cover screws. Be careful not to over tighten them so that you don't crack the front cover. 
Put on the side chutes. Place the chute into the upper back corner as shown. Back corner as shown. Tilt the chute into place and slide it down in the track. Replace the splash protector. Put the rotation plate inside the hopper and turn it until it rests properly on the post. Put the fruit basket back in place and gently turn it to the left. Note the metal plate indicating the front of the basket. Your juicer is now ready for juicing again. We recommend wiping down the stainless steel with a microfiber towel. A sparkling clean juicer helps sell more juice. Help 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 sell more juice. Operating your Citricasa 8000 SB ATS Advance and SB Advance. Your Citricasa 8000 Series Advance is a high quality citrus juicer designed to juice thousands of oranges per day. It is very user friendly and easy to operate. The model shown here is the 8000 SB ATS. If you juice on an SB, please continue to watch and we will point out any differences relevant to your juicer. For optimal hygiene, always operate on a clean juicer. For instructions on how to take apart, clean, and reassemble the juicer, please watch the video on cleaning your Citricasa 8000 series advance. Be sure to have a grounded electrical outlet available within reach and position the juicer so that nobody can trip over the cord. The electrical specifications can be found on the plate on the back of the juicer. This is where you can also find information about the model number and serial number of the juicer. Choosing the right fruit for your juicing is extremely important to make sure that you can enjoy the juicer for many years to come. When choosing your fruit, Use the fruit sizing tool provided to determine if the fruit is the right size. The fruit has to fit through the large opening of the tool, but is not supposed to fit through the small opening. The 8000 SB ATS juicer is designed for citrus fruit only, so please do not use any other types of fruit. Also, ensure that the fruit is not frozen. Using frozen fruit, the wrong size fruit, or non-citrus fruit can do serious damage to the machine. Note that each pressing kit has a different color and requires a different size fruit. The orange kit is for standard size oranges. The yellow kit is for smaller fruit such as lemons, limes, and tangerines. And the green kit is for grapefruit and larger oranges. Each pressing kit comes with a fruit sizing tool. Fruit size when you switch between pressing kits, you must always swap out the entire kit. The upper and lower pressing elements, the knife, the peel ejectors, and the fruit supply tunnel. Do not mix colors. Make sure that the fruit you use is clean. For that, please check your internal guidelines on how to wash and prepare the fruit for juicing. To start juicing, fill the fruit basket with fruit. Switch on the main power on the back of the juicer. The switch will light up. On the side of the juicer, there is a digital display. When you press the function button, you will see different menu options. First, select the desired language. Press the function button until you see Choose Language on the display. Move through the language options by pressing the on and off button at the same time. Stop at the desired language and press the function button again to save your language choice. Next, choose one of the two operating modes, self-service or continuous pressing. Open the fruit stopper. If your juicer is set to self-service, you simply need to push down the self-service tap for the juicer to start operating. If you push the tap down only halfway, the juicer will not press any more fruit, but simply release the juice left in the sieve support. In continuous mode, you need to press the on-off button in order to start pressing fruit. In this mode, the juicer will continue to run until you turn it off. 
Note that you need to release juice by pressing the tap, otherwise the sieve support will overflow. The 8000 SBATS is equipped with an automatic transport system, which conveniently removes the seeds and pulp while you juice. The 8000 SB has a manual transport system. Simply move the swiper to the side to push seeds and pulp into the trash. Your juicer also has an intelligent stop function to avoid overflows and peel jams. Press function until you see empty bucket after a certain number of oranges and set an amount by repeatedly pressing the on or the off button. When the preset amount has been reached, the juicer will beep and stop. Empty the bucket. Press and hold off until you hear another beep. Now you can juice again. If you set the amount to zero, the intelligent stop is off. Warning, if you allow peels to back up all the way into the machine, you can cause serious machine damage. By pressing function, you can also see the total hours of operation and the total number of fruit pressed on the machine. These numbers cannot be reset. When you want to shut down your juicer, wait until the pressing elements have come to a complete standstill. Now you can turn off the main power and unplug the juicer. Never shut the main power off or unplug the juicer when the pressing elements are still moving. This can cause the pressing elements to stop in the wrong position and make it impossible for you to reassemble the juicer after cleaning. If the juicer has been shut down improperly by accident, turn it on and again perform a proper shutdown. Should fruit or peels get stuck, turn off the main power and remove the front cover. Remove the jammed fruit and replace the front cover. Then turn on the main power and resume juicing. If you have any questions regarding the operation of the juicer or need technical help, call our tech support at 1-855-MY-CITRO or your local partner you purchased the machine from.